Then I looked at my mother, and instead of it being her somehow, I knew it was Jesus. This is my amazing NDE. In my late 20s, I was in the neurointensive care unit of the hospital for bleeding in the brain, and I told the nurse, I need to see a doctor, something is worse. This is the worst I've ever felt in my life. She told me, I think you're just having an anxiety attack, and left the room. I knew she was wrong. All of a sudden, I saw three men in white robes standing at the front and sides of my bed. They looked as though they were on fire with a one-inch flame around their bodies. I was terrified because I wanted to help put the fire out, but I did not know where to find the fire extinguisher. I realized that these guys were not even in pain or distress, and I thought, wow, this is really strange. Then I looked at the fire and realized it was brighter than a thousand suns, but you could stare straight at it without hurting your eyes. Yet it didn't light up the corners of the hospital room. Although I did not recognize their faces, it was as if I had known them my whole life, and we were good friends. The one on my left put both hands in the air, and I left my body. We floated straight up through the ceiling face first, which I thought might be painful, but it did not hurt at all. We went through the hospital roof and started to ascend into the sky. I turned my body around to face down, and I saw the roof of the building from the perspective of the sky. My view was later confirmed to be true from satellite imagery of the hospital that proves this was neither a dream nor a hallucination. I looked at the grass, and the color was different. It was extra vibrant, glowing and pulsating, and it was like a feast for the eyes. This is the best I can describe it because the English language does not have the right words. With one angel in front and two on the sides, we went up high in the clouds. Then we started moving horizontally, going faster than an airplane, and they did not need wings to fly. I thought to myself, Shouldn't friction be causing me pain from the wind pressure? The angel in front spoke without using his mouth. He stated, there's no friction here. I said mind to mind, why isn't gravity making me fall? And he replied, there's no gravity here. I remembered learning that temperature in the clouds is extremely cold and I thought, why aren't I cold? There's no cold here, was the response. I started to think about my job and university, and the angel told me, there's no stress here. I asked, why aren't we talking with our mouths? He responded, in earth, talking with your mouth makes your throat dry. Then I said to him, I'm glad you speak English. How many languages do you speak? And he said, all of them. I told him I wanted to ask some other things. I asked him for the meaning of life. He told me, for the entertainment of the spirit realm. I asked him when the world will end, and as a messenger of God, he told me the answer. Yet, he mentioned there would be some things I would not be allowed to remember, and this was one of them. This whole time, we were flying. All of a sudden, we started doing acrobatics, and we flew straight through a cloud. It was exhilarating, the most fun I'd ever had. It is kind of like being on a roller coaster when you go over a hill and get that wee feeling, multiplied by a thousand. Flying through a cloud is like being kissed by a marshmallow. That's the best I know how to describe it. It's so awesome and cool. 
Next, the angel in front turned around in slow motion facing towards me, and all four of us stopped in midair. He said, We have to go back. I said, No, this is so cool, and I want to feel like this forever. I pleaded with him. I don't have any children. I'm not married. No one down there needs me, I said. The brain I have down there is injured. I don't want to go back to that body. I'd like to stay here. I was told, you will be made whole. After that, I was given a life review. I went back in time to when I was a baby and in my mother's arms, and I was happy and loved without any stress. Then I looked at my mother, and instead of it being her somehow, I knew it was Jesus. He held me in his arms and hugged me. The love I felt was unlike anything on earth. It was perfect, because the one I was with had no sin. It brings a tear to my eye. I long for Jesus' hug again. It was the most amazing thing ever. And I get homesick. I was not allowed to remember what God looks like. Next, I was shown when I was five years old, playing in the sandbox all alone, talking to God in an audible voice, telling him my hopes and dreams. I was told by the angel that God absolutely loves it when a child talks to him. Next, I was shown my sales job as a young adult, misleading a customer to make a sale. The angel revealed to me that the demons in hell rejoice when someone tells a lie. All of a sudden, I was in my mother's home, and I saw my mom on the couch crying uncontrollably, which I've never seen before in my life. Then, in less than a second, we were transported to my best friend's house ten miles away, and I witnessed her shaking and crying violently, which I've never witnessed. Apparently, this was a vision of the future had I been allowed to stay, and they would be mourning my death. So I told the angel, okay, okay, I'll go back. Instantaneously, I was back in my body.